In 1.19, Minecraft is introducing one of the best structures in the game's history, the ancient cities, the home of the warden. The ancient cities are going to be one of the largest natural buildings in the game, filled with pockets of skulk and narrow streets. This structure forms out of a cavern in the ground, below Y level 0, in the deep dark biome. This city is also bringing a new enchanted book, Swift Sneaking. This will allow you to navigate quickly, through the streets of the city, without triggering the Skulk Shrieker, which would cause the Warden to pursue you. This crucial book, is exclusive to the ancient cities. Throughout each city, you can discover pockets of Skulk. This Skulk dwells in the ancient cities, often this patch of Skulk contains a Skulk Shrieker, and this is one of the largest threats in the deep dark, as it alerts the Warden of the player, and then the hunt begins. The Warden becomes even more terrifying with the darkness effect, because it gives the effect of an atmospheric manhunt, where you, the player, are like a sacrifice to the Warden. The darkness effect also pulses into a moody light setting, however, even though the Warden may look like an impossible nemesis, one of the most effective ways of conquering this foul beast, are snowballs. These can cause the Warden to sense the vibrations, and begin to walk away, although, if the Warden is close enough, it will rely on its sense of smell, which will not be fooled by the snowballs. At his point, your best option is to try and get to the high ground, out of reach from the Warden. But do not confront the Warden head on, as it has the most health out of any mob in the game, and can kill you almost immediately, even with the strongest armor in the game. On the other hand, you can try to escape the Warden, and just hide in a corner, because if it doesn't notice you or get angry for over a minute, it will dig below the ground and despawn. Skulk catalysts allow skulk blocks to grow, which enables you to store and harvest XP. Some YouTubers like Mumbo Jumbo, have managed to already design massive farms for storing XP, through the skulk blocks. Skulk further helps the redstone engineers, by introducing the ability to make wireless redstone contraptions even though it was added in previous updates. The block will become more easily accessible in 1.19 allowing redstone geniuses to create more efficient builds. Another block which is going to be added in 1.19 is reinforced deep slate. This material forms the border of the central building in the city. It is this structure which the city surrounds and the crossroads meet. Reinforced deep slate cannot yet be obtained in survival and we don't know if it will ever be obtainable in survival. However, its main reason for being in the game is to add mystery, so there is a possibility it will just be the main block for the monument. If you want to learn more about 1.19, watch the video on screen now and subscribe.